Jojo Siwa just revealed which Adele song she was sobbing to after her heartbreaking split from Kylie Prue. Let's get into it. Last month, Jojo and Kylie shocked fans when they confirmed that after a little under a year of dating, the couple had decided to call it quits. Even though our hearts were literally breaking, Jojo did confirm later in an interview with People at the recent American Music Awards that she and Kylie aren't as close as they used to be but are both happy. But despite the fact that Jojo seems like she's pretty much over the whole thing, handling the breakup was far from easy for the star. And it turns out the soundtrack of her breakup, like millions of us around the world, TBH, involved a whole lot of Adele. While speaking with E! News, Jojo revealed that she was driving in the car with her Dancing with the Stars partner, Jenna Johnson, when Adele's 2015 track All I Ask came on and instantly brought on the waterworks. Jojo told E! that while working on Dancing with the Stars, Jenna played All I Ask on the car ride home from getting a spray tan and I was sobbing because it was practically how my relationship ended. She then went on to add, I literally told her it's the day before we did our Sandy and Frenchie routine on Dancing with the Stars and I said, I'm gonna be streaky Sandy, stop playing this song, I'm gonna be streaky Sandy. Yep, talk about relatable. While Jenna and Jojo ultimately didn't end up taking home the Mirrorball trophy on Dancing with the Stars, the two did form an extremely close bond, with Jojo having told Extra that Jenna has been a rock throughout her split from Kylie. I mean, come on, what better form of bonding is there than having an Adele-fueled cry sesh in the car? And now Jojo has even more Adele songs to sob along to following the release of her fourth studio album, 30. Trust me, we've already shed some tears too easy on me. All jokes aside, we're just glad that Jojo seems to be doing okay and that she's being super real and candid about her first big heartbreak. It certainly seems like for now she's being cautious about stepping back into the dating scene, however Jojo did admit that while she's not quite ready to date again just yet, she wouldn't mind having a cuddle buddy. Jojo revealed that she's fully accepting applications for a new cuddle buddy in a recent interview with People saying, I want to have a cuddle date, so if anybody out there needs a cuddle date, cuddle buddy, I'll take it. We certainly hope with or without a cuddle buddy that Jojo can take some time to catch up on some well-deserved rest after what has been such a big year for her. For now, fans can check out JoJo's new dance show, Siwa's Dance Pop Revolution, which just dropped two episodes on E! and Peacock, because let's be real, we already miss seeing JoJo tear up the dance floor on Dancing with the Stars. As always, we continue to send our well wishes to JoJo as she continues to navigate through life post breakup and can't wait to see what's ahead for the star. Now go ahead and click right over here for the full rundown on whether or not JoJo is ready to date again, then hop to the comments and let me know if you've ever had an Adele inspired cry fest and if so, to which song. As always, I'm your host Renee Ariel. You can follow me on socials at Renee Ariel, and I'll see you next time.